I know maybe some of you just heard about this. Uh, but this is a common uh, file uh, format. Now, uh, what is uh, being used now? Like I heard somebody are already using a Scratch. Yeah, Scratch is a very good uh, program. So the difference of what we are now uh, teaching is that a scratch, I think you know when they say uh, drag and drop. I think, yeah, you will just pull uh, all those, uh, all those uh, set of codes and it will work. Now, uh, what we will be doing is how to do those codes. So that means uh, you will be learning more on sets of text. You will only be typing text and numbers. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you can create uh, your uh, figure. So this uh, scalable vector graphics will be very helpful for your children to be very much familiar with your geometry and algebra. Because here you will be uh, making codes that will create all the geometric shapes. Uh, I think, you, yeah, ge geometric shape like circle, hexagon, uh, square so not not only that uh, you can make all of these lines of shapes moving you can also make all of these uh, shapes into different regions so uh, one thing that uh, is important for you to learn is we are promoting this uh, uh, geometric uh, digital art that is qualified also to become a non-fungible token. I, uh, I think this is another terminology. Uh, there is now a marketplace uh, like a kind of gallery that can sell a uh, digital art. We also have this uh, marketplace waiting for those who will be creating a good uh, SBG coded. I think that's uh, a very brief introduction because seeing it in action will give you much more better uh, understanding. So uh, this time I have to pass on to Saranjan. I think uh, that's uh, a very brief uh, introduction. And uh, along the way, yeah, uh, if you have questions, so we are happy to hear. So, Saranjan, it's your... Yes, sir, I'm ready. Screen is yours. Yes. So I'm going to share my screen. So uh, good evening to you all teachers. I am Ranjan. I am CEO of Learn India, Earn India. So I'm going to today cover a scalable vector graphics, SVG. So this coding is, this SVG is just you all mute, okay? Listen, you all mute, no hit. Okay. So this one is scalable vector graphics and the, this coding is this especially this language SVG. This one very, very powerful, very, very powerful. You can do anything, anything by using this SVG. See here, we are using term this SVG is easier than a, B, C, D also. So anyone can learn. Anyone can learn this coding. And 
of C by using only few words, you can create anything. You can create anything. You can change your idea, whatever you have idea into digital art in some creativity. So let us see how can we do. Let me show you one simple, a small example. Here in this SVG, see, I'm just drawing one circle. So it's very easy. You have to just click and circle will automatically come here. Now, here we have all options. You can see there are many here values, numbers written, already this one written. So what you have to do, you have to just change and see the changes. So now in this, suppose, let me change this one. I'm increasing this value. So now see how it is looking. Suppose I'm changing this value, radius. You all know what is meaning of radius. This one, normal mathematics. So now see this one, this circle. Now see why this one powerful. So let me show you its power first. So this one here, suppose we have to add in the animation in this, so we can easily add animation in this circle. So let us see, let me just add one simple animation. I'm just showing, after that we will start this SBG. So now suppose I'm writing here 30 and some value here 80, and let me change this one in definite. So now see, we can add animation in each part of this circle. That's why this SVG is powerful. Suppose see, we have to move this one from left to right, we can move also. If we have to change its size, we can change its size if we have to change its uh, thickness it's like a stroke width we can change we we can change its color also everything we can change dynamically suppose i am writing some value here like 5 to 20 so you can see here changes in this now suppose i am writing here A simple script, suppose I'm writing value here too, and just let me write this one, just see here, suppose I'm increasing a stroke with 50. So now see how it is looking. And here I'm changing, suppose five to one, so now see, it will start moving like this. So you all can create everything. Whatever I am creating, you can make simple clock, everything you can do. So let us start this SVG coding and you can do practice on this website, Learn India, Learn India, everything is given. You have to just open, click, and do. So see, this SVG coding, SVG, this one stands for scalable vector graphics. Okay. SVG stands for scalable vector graphics means we are going to use design means this can be used for designing you can create banners you can create a pdf anything you can create in it for marketing promotional banner also you can create you can create animation you can create suppose if you want to design something you can use this svg for education purpose also you can use this svg for 
uh, a small videos also anything you can create this one very powerful and here its pattern is also same like html so let us see in term of coding you have to follow some rules this one just like a game so in game also there are rules some rules so here also you have to follow some rules so see this one from here to here if this one complete this script is called tag tag or element its name is tag and element and you can see here in this there are two parts one is called opening tag and this second one is last one is here this one called closing tag now see difference between opening and closing tag here difference is only forward slash so you can do one thing here suppose you have to write some element so you can write simply suppose i am writing svg and you can copy paste same and you can just add here this symbol that's all so this one here becomes closing tag and this one the opening tag now inside opening tag we can write see here inside this opening tag attributes are used so you can write unlimited at attribute so here view box is one attribute so you have to remember first thing tag this one its name is tag or element and whatever written inside this opening tag that is called attribute that is called attribute attribute okay so this one very very important actually you have to remember this one and we are going to use this attribute for animation this one very important actually and everything decided by the attribute attribute in suppose let us say start with the line so i'm going to use here one line and this one the line is script so this one automatically come once you click here so automatically you will get this line and you have to click on run so here you can see this line so in line you can see this one called opening tag this one opening tag of line and this one the closing tag of this line and whatever written inside this one x1 x2 all these are called attribute its name here attribute you have to remember so x1 ay1 x2 y2 stroke stroke with stroke line cap all these here are attributes and it has different role actually different functions for line so let us see for x1 here it controls its initial horizontal position this one just like our coordinate geometry this one coordinates only so here let us change this one suppose i am changing this one writing 10 so now see this line is moving on the left side and if suppose i am changing this one vertical coordinate actually suppose i am changing this one writing here 10 so you can see it is going up if i am increasing this value so it is going it, you can see here it is going down now let me change x2 suppose i am writing here 290 increasing this value so it will go on the right side so now see here now this one here y2 suppose i am writing here 100 so it will go down if i am changing this one decreasing this value so it will go up 
Now, see what is function of this stroke. So this one you can remove and write color name here. Any color name you can write. So can you tell any color name? Anyone? Green. So color is here. Green. Now see a stroke with. So here we can increase the thickness of this line. So suppose I am writing 10. So you can see this one thickness increased. Now next one is a stroke line cap. So this one here, you can see this one, it's end is flat. So we can change this one also. So how can we change? So let us write here, suppose I am writing round, so automatically its end will be rounded. So you can change in this one and you can write. So this one very simple actually. So let us try with this line and see what we can do with this line. So suppose here, I'm changing this value. I'm writing 150 here. And here also, see here, I'm changing only value here. And changing this one, 10. And here I'm writing something like 190. So you can see this line is vertically straight now. Suppose I am changing this one. I am writing here 10. I am writing here 10. So you can see this one here. Its position changed now. Now suppose I am writing here 300. So now see this one diagonal. This one diagonal. And let us see. See, uh, let me change this one 150 only. And here also 150. Okay, so now this one is vertically a straight line. See, in this line, in this SVG code, this in this SVG coding, actually this coding is very, very powerful. And in this, we can add animation in each, each attribute. We can add animation in each attribute, means we can add animation in X1 also, y1 also, x2, y2, a stroke, a stroke width, a stroke line cap, all attribute we can add. So let us see how animation is added in this line. So for any element, you have to remember here, rules remain same. Same rule you can follow and add animation in all elements. So let us see. Here, first we have to just you all mute. First, here you have to write one ID. This one for identification of this element. This one very, very important. And you have to remember one thing here. You can't use this ID more than one time. Okay, this one here. This ID is just like a name, it means you can use this for identification of this element, this particular element. Suppose if you want to use two lines, so you can use two different names. So let us see first with this one, we will use two lines and check. So now see animation, first click here on animation. So automatically we'll get this script. Now here you have to remember this one, see this symbol, hashtag symbol. Here after this symbol, use this ID. Same ID you can copy paste also. So I'm writing here A, B, C. Now see this one attribute name. So you already know the all these are attribute here so you can use any attribute here so suppose i am writing x1 i am writing here x1 and changing this value suppose i am writing 0 and here writing 300 so let us see 
So now see, this line is moving from left to right. Now, if we can change this one, suppose I'm writing 300 and here I'm writing zero. So you can see this one moving from right to left now. Moving from right to left. Now see, suppose I am changing this one. I am writing here x2. So now see what will happen. So it is moving from bottom. And here again, you can change. You can write 0 to 300. Any value you can write. Any value you can write. So now see, it is moving from left to right now. So you can control everything. Now suppose if you want to increase its duration, its speed, so you just change this value duration. So now see, it is moving fast. If you want to make, suppose I am writing in 0 0.2 second. So let us see what will happen. You can move, do like this. So we can write any value here. Suppose I'm writing five seconds, so automatically it will be slower. Now, I'm changing this one. I am going to write now Y. So suppose I'm writing Y1 here, so you can see what will happen. So now it is moving here, top to bottom. Mama. This one moving from top to bottom. Now, here we can change Y2. So it will start from, now see how it is moving. So you can use any attribute. Now suppose I'm using here writing a stroke. So let us see a stroke. So remember here for a stroke, you have to write the color name. So can you tell me Two color name? Any two colors yeah. name? Sir, red and red and pink. Okay. Red and purple. Red and pink. Okay. Red and purple. So I'm writing Sir, red, red and purple. Okay. So now see. Can you see uh, here changing? Is it changing from red to purple? Yes, sir. Okay. So yes. here we can write we can use many colors also. So how can we use many colors? So what we have to do, we have to write here values and inside this, suppose you are using values. So you have to remember this one, this symbol and you can write many color names. Suppose I'm writing here green, I'm writing here yellow, I'm writing here pink, I'm writing here lime, I'm writing here white. I'm writing any other color name, violet. Okay, so le just leave this one and remove this one. This one not required now and let us see. So can you see? You can use many colors. So let me increase this width. So now see. Here we can make one a small game with this line. So let us see how can we do. So see, suppose here I am going to create one more line. Okay. But here you have to remember you can't use ID, same ID in two element. So you have to change this ID. So suppose this one, first one is A, B, C. So we can write B, B, C, D. We can write anything. You can use your name also. Anything, you can use some numbers also. You can use a text and a number, both also. So anything you can do here. So let me write here. Suppose this one, B, C, and D. Okay, we have now two lines. I'm going to use one animation here. For A, B, C, 
and I'm going to add animation in x1 attribute and just going to change 0 to 300 this one. So let us see. Okay, now since second line, I'm going to use BCD, our ID name is BCD for this one, ABC and this one BCD, and I am changing this one from 300 to zero. So can you see now? So you can make, if suppose here, you can use more, more lines also. If you want to use here four, five lines, suppose I'm writing here one more line. And I'm going to use now PQR. PQR, so you can see here, let us change the color also, so we can change P, Q, R, and now here see, the, you can change this color pattern, suppose this one. So just change this one. So automatically you can see changes in this line. P, Q, R, and let me reduce this duration three seconds. So now see how it is looking. We can add one more line. And now I am going to use QRS here, ID. And let us change its color also. So Q R and S, and let me add animation. And now here I'm going to use zero to 300. So let us see. So can you see here how it is looking? It is looking like rotating. Okay, and here in this coding SVG, here you have option also. You can share this code. Let me share this code. Suppose I am sharing this code, so anyone can see this code. You can share, let me show you. You can write your code and you can share also. Okay. This option already given. So let us see how many, let me check how many of you are just mute, just mute. Okay. Okay, so now suppose here I am drawing, I am drawing one rectangle. Okay, and you have to Okay. Now suppose you have to draw a vertically a straight line. So who can draw? How can we draw? Who can explain? Anyone? Anyone? How can we draw a straight vertically line? Okay, only line. How can we draw a line? Sir, just click on the line. Very good. 
So see, just click on the line. So we will get the line. Now, this one, just remove this one not required. Okay. Now, how can we change the color? Color of this line? Uh, you can change stock. Very good. Here, we have to change here, write the color name. So, which anyone can tell, please, any color name? Hot orange. Okay, orange. Now, <coughs> suppose we have to increase its thickness. How can we do? Stroke width. You can yes. change. We can change a stroke width. So, automatically, I remove the background. Now, this end is flat. How we can change this one into rounded? Rounded corner. Stroke long cap, our UND round. Yes, perfect. Very good, excellent. Now, suppose we have to make this one vertically a straight line. So how can we make vertically a straight? This one slipping line. I think you can change H1. Okay. X1. So can you tell any value? Which value? Um, uh, like 10. Okay, then uh, sorry, um you want to make vertical line, so you have to change y one. Okay, this one. No, see here for vertically a straight line, what we have to do? We have to keep this x one. And x2 both is same. So let us see. Suppose I am writing 150. So can you see how it is looking? So what we have to do? We have to change y1 and y2. So now suppose I am writing something like 10 and 190. So now this one vertically is straight. So suppose we have to draw one more line on the left side means here on this screen on the left side so how can we do suppose we have to make another line of green color on the left side of this given line so how can we do you can click mark online Okay, let me copy this one only. Copy it. So what we will do here? We will change this value. Suppose I am writing 90 and here also 90. So it will, you can see it move on the left side and we have to change its color. So we will write green. Now, suppose we have to draw another line on the right side of this orange color line. So how can we do? Copy the code. Yes, perfect. Copy it. What will be its value? And then please change uh, like 20, uh, sorry, 200. Yeah, 200. And this one also 200. So automatically now we will get this line on the right side. Now, suppose here, let me remove this one. Now let me give a background color. green
Okay. So now see this one green color. Now I'm making this one here. Suppose we have to make a diagonal of this rectangle. So how can we do? How can we make a diagonal? We have to make the diagonal. So how can can we do? Sir, I can't yeah. see a rectangle. This one green color rectangle, you can't see? Sir, it is the background. Yeah, background, but that is looking like rectangle only. Okay, sir. So how can we make diagonal? So what we will do here? Which value we will change? Sir, Y1. Okay, Y1. So can you tell the value Y1? So 50. Okay, let me change 50. So can you see? Anyone, you all can try. You all can try. So don't worry. Just tell the number. Just tell the value. And let us see what is happening. It's shorter. Okay. So X1? 160. Okay. Okay, let me just first draw. Can you see this one? What we have to do? Suppose we have to draw a diagonal here. Means a starting point here. So how can we do? So we have to, here, we can use a zero also. So suppose I'm writing here zero, zero. So it's a starting point is this one. And now see, what will be the value here? Suppose this one 0, 0, x coordinate is 0, y is also 0 here. So what will be the value here? So value will be here because see this one 300 and 200. So this x2 suppose I am writing 300 and this one I am writing here. 200, so automatically it will be diagonal. Ah, uh, yes, I see. Yes. yes. Can, you, can you now tell how can we draw the next, this other diagonal? Uh, so, can you just copy the copy? Yeah, copy paste. Okay, copy. Now tell the value. Uh, X1 300. X1, X1 300. Okay. So let me write X1 300. So now it's can see. So X1 uh, not required to change here. Just to keep it because see here, we have to just change this position to here. So here we will change y1. So automatically it will come here. Now we will change y2 0. So automatically it will go up. So can you see here? This one very simple. Here in this one, x1, here also x1, both are same. Because a starting point here this one x1 okay but here we have to change this y1 position so y value is here 0 and here 200 maximum and here this x value is maximum 300 and y value is 0 here and y value is maximum here and x value is also maximum here, 300 and 200. 
clear? Is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay. okay, very good. So next, this line you can make by using this line, you can use your idea and you can create different, different games. You can here, what you have to do, you have to just use your idea and you, you can change the value, add animation and you can choose whatever you want. And you will always get something new and a special. Once you add here animation and try, just try, change the value, write whatever you want, just write. So always you will get something no, 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 no. new. Always you will get something new. Okay. So this one actually very interesting coding and this one easy to write also. It's very easy to write also. And anyone, anyone can learn this coding because this coding is just like, just mute, just mute. This one, one type of language because see, computer, this one computer language actually, this one computer language, and uh, you all know, suppose uh, you were many joined from Myanmar, suppose you have to communicate with the Indian. So how can you can communicate? How can you talk? Either you have to learn Indian language or English means whatever means we speak here in India. You have to learn that one or we India means I have to learn your language, then only we can communicate. So same way here in coding, this one also a way to communicate with the computer, laptop and our phone. So here what we do, actually computer can't learn English, computer can't learn your local language, uh, Burmese. So here you have Sir. to learn computer languages. And suppose... Sir. Yeah, please. I have a doubt. Yeah, please. What is your doubt? That if a computer can't learn English, so how who, we when we type it shows what we are typing? Yeah, you are. You can type this one. This one language actually, and we can communicate because computer can't speak. Uh, so. Nowadays means there are a lot of options, so computer can talk also. But here normally what we do, we give input to computer and, and computer gives output. So what we are doing here, we are giving output means we are communicating with this computer, this laptop, and this laptop is giving output like this. So this one on out, output and whatever I am doing here, this one input for this particular program. Is it clear? Yes, sir. So this one actually way to communicate with the computer. And this one very easy. Anyone can learn. Anyone can learn means first grade children can also learn and the teacher can also learn. Anyone can learn. And teacher can use same coding, same this SVG for creating, creating, creating uh, means some your content, educational material. You can use this one. You can use in your teaching also. You can create, you can draw rectangle, you can draw circle, you can, you can draw anything, anything you can draw. So we will learn in the next class how we can use this complete SVG. And in three days, I'm going to cover approximately all these names maximum i am going to cover except two three elements maximum i i am going to cover text rect circle ellipse how to use images 
and uh, more of our animation and uh, how can we use more colors in one element that is called gradient actually. So we will learn how to use gradient also. So in coming three days means coming two days already one uh, first class over. So in coming two days, I am going to cover each and everything. Clear? So anyone have any doubt? Anyone having any doubt? Now, let me just brief you how can you use this system. So what you have to do, you have to first create one ID here. At Learn India, Learn India, just create one register if you have ID. So not nothing required, just log in and start. Those who are new, so just create one account. And after creating account, just fill this form. So automatically your account will be created. After creating account, you will get one verification email. So just click on that. So automatically your account will be activated. Now click on login. Just type your email ID. And whatever password created during registration, just type your password. So you will get here, you will get this panel. Here you can see coding. So before starting coding, just update your profile. Click on user profile. Type your name here, type your qualification, class, whatever you want to write, you can write. Subject, write coding, school, college, whatever you can, if you want to write, you can write. And the exam type, so this one actually for championship given, you can type coding only. You can select your picture, you can click on update, and you can, you can, Click on update and you can, here your account will be automatically ready for coding. Now, you have to click here on coding, click on coding, so you will get this one. Now, you have to remember here, how can you use this one? So, first, just click on SVG and always write your code inside this opening and closing tag. Otherwise, your code may not work. You have to remember here. Suppose I am writing here, circle outside of this closing tag. So you can see this one not working. It will not work. So always you have to remember, you have to always type this one, write your code inside opening and closing tag. Now see it is coming. And one more thing you have to remember here. This one, this is symbol. You just change this value, whatever written. Don't change this double quote symbol or this one. Can you see equal to sign double quote symbol? Don't change this one. Otherwise, your code may not work. So just change if you want to change this one. So just delete this one and write any color name here. Don't remove this double quote symbol. If you want to change this value, so just write increase this one 20, 30, whatever you want. If you want to use here 200, you can write 200 also and see, see here changes. So you can reduce, you can change this one, this value. So now see, you can increase this one also. If you want to increase this one, if you want to change this one also, everything you can change and you can see what is happening actually. 
So suppose I am changing this one. I am writing this one 125. So let us see 120 only. So now see it is going down. If I am changing this one 130. So now see it is going down. Okay. So you can use, you can change and see the changes and you can easily understand everything. You have to just try and do. Okay. So anyone have any doubt, doubt? If you have any question, you can ask now. Anyone? Do you have any question? No. No question? So clear? Everything clear? Yes. yes. Okay, so you all can try. I don't even know what you're talking about. So you all just try. Okay. And uh, if suppose you are not able to do, not able to write, you can message any time also. Okay, those who are from Myanmar, so in group, just type your message. I am not able to write code. My code is not running. So immediately we will provide support. Okay, and you can write your code. Clear to you all? Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah, please. Oh, my. Yeah, please. If you have any question, you can ask. Sir, I don't have any question. Okay. So, anyone? If you have any question with Caesar, sir, you can ask. Any, any question? Do you have any questions? Yeah, please. No, do you have any question? No question? Okay. So, sir can answer. If you want to talk to sir, so sir is ready. <laughs> we are I have ready. A question. We are already ready. <laughs> Every time <laughs> we are ready for means your communication. We can communicate any time. So anyone have whatever talking about? Evelyn, do you have any question with sir? No. Okay. Okay, thank you. So anyone, no question? So you all are smart. So all are smart in one class. They are able to understand each and everything. They don't have doubt. Okay. So, sir, do you want to share something? I think I have you announced. We have the junior club hackathon. I, I could not open mine. Can can you open our Tokyo blockchain with uh, yes, sir. the junior club? So later you can join this uh, junior club. Yeah, the Toba Junior Club. So, yeah, I think you can show that short video of uh, Junior Club. Children's leadership, teamwork, social abilities, emotional intelligence, and more soft skills are all equally important in learning hard skills like math, science, and many other school subjects. 
acquiring children's soft skills by working together in project making with peers from Japan, Vietnam, India, and the Philippines is a challenging opportunity offered by the Tokyo Blockchain Academy's Junior Club. With members who are 9 to 12 years old from different countries, the Junior Club goal is to enhance the use of English communication and teamwork in making a computer coding project together on an online platform. Natural computer coding using text and numbers to create animated digital arts is for sure a child's confidence builder. Team members with common English and computer coding level skills will interact with overseas fellow junior club team members for friendship and project making collaboration called Hackathon. Today's higher elementary school grade children are digital native, capable of taking advantage of the newly emerged non fungible token or NFT for Hackathon's project making. With help from Junior Club's global tutors and experts, as well as parents, supporting in creating digital arts and NFT projects, club members' soft skills, growth, and success follows. It leads to having happy children who are well-prepared adults to build a good future in the digital world called Society 5.0. Welcome to the Junior Club of Tokyo Blockchain Academy. <coughs> Okay, thank you very much. So hopefully later you can join us also in the to in the junior club of the Tokyo Blockchain Academy. Yeah, this one actually blockchain program for kids. Okay, so in this junior club we teach also <coughs> about uh, everything. Uh, programming, coding, blockchain, everything we guide and the children also do use their idea and create a digital art, NFT, a lot of things. So any anything so no question? I think they are all uh, still uh, shy or maybe <laughs> trying the codes. Yeah, so no, I actually, yeah, many uh, joined the first time in this coding class and uh, uh, many are new also from, mm. especially from Myanmar. So yeah. it means, uh, yeah, but so don't worry. We all are together here and you can ask whatever you want, okay? You can ask whatever you want. So I think no questions, sir. So yeah, thank you very yeah. much. Yeah. So tomorrow, see you again at same timing. Everything will remain same. Link will also remain same. Timing also same. And tomorrow we will learn something new. Okay. Okay, sir. Yes. Thank yes. you so much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Tomorrow. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, sir. Thank you very much hey. for joining. <coughs> yeah, okay. Thank you. So, see you again tomorrow at same timing, same link. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes. Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye, sir. See you tomorrow. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Bye, sir.